Hello friends, this is Coldron back with um, Final Fantasy Type-0. We are here in a place known as... I'm just on to collect my thoughts and as I get to full screen. Okay, we're here in the arena. Last time, Cease trained up. She got a whole mess of stuff. Look at all that stuff. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. Look at all that stuff. Okay. So she got a bunch of stuff and God, she's the coolest looking character. Look at her. She got the spiky hair, the spiky ponytail that's, um, uh, like, what's his name? The, the guy in 14 who runs, um, who's the head of one of those Stormblood areas. I can't remember his name. She's got his hair. Um, she's got the, the, the buckled up knee-high boots. Kind of a raggedy looking cape. I don't know whether they all have that, that raggedy look to them, but I like it. Um... Yeah, so anyway, let us see what I want to do next. I don't know what I want to do next. I have There's so much stuff I can do, and like none of it is remotely close to being like the... Um, none, of, none of the stuff I want to do is just is moving on with the main plot. There's so much other cool stuff I want to do beyond that. So I think I want to start by heading back to the, Ruba, the Rubicus. Yeah, there's some stuff I want to check out in Rubicus Land. <clears throat> Excuse me. This won't be a full Rubicus session, though. Alright, let's go to... So let me remind myself. Uh, so, Cater... Which was Cater? Cater was... Very clear. Yeah, she's very kind of upfront. Okay. Don't even think about touching her Magitek pistol. Okay. Um, let's look at the high numbers here. Nine, Jack, Queen, King. Nine. Spear. I liked using him when I used him. Hoping to channel his abundant energy into... Six, one, he's pretty tall. But his abundant energy into something more productive. Dr. al Rashia moved Nine to a facility outside academia at the age of eight. There she offered him a rigorous training regimen. Still somewhat uncontrollable, Nine joined the sortie at... Sortie? 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 against the Imperial Army in the Rubrum Liberation of 842 and annihilated all who stood in his way. Um, so his tenacity are in him, or so he's impulsive and very intense, shoots from the hip and doesn't worry about the consequences. In fact, he prides himself on his ability to act without overthinking, even though some of his classmates tried him for not thinking enough. Okay, so he's impulsive, he's kind of rash, got um, hard time dealing with situations that are black and white, and he'll break whatever he needs to do he needs to in order to make clear what's right and what's wrong. Okay, so he's impulsive and has a hard time dealing with gray areas. <clears throat> Jack. Jack is a katana wielder. Sorcery is quick to bring Jack in for training, sensing great potential. At Sorcery's special center near Academia, Jack studied the way of the warrior. While you were, <laughs> while you were busy with heterosexuality, Jack studied the blade. And he put his f skills to the test, defending the Dominion against an Imperial assault. Okay, with a tongue, a smile on his face, and a joke on his tip, on the tip of his tongue, Jack is known as right. Jack is kind of a jackass. Class clown zero. No matter what prickly predicament he and his classmates fall into, Jack always puts a positive spin on the situation. Although his unfaltering optimism should theoretically inspire his classmates, his glib nature prevents the rest of Class Zero from taking his words of encouragement too seriously. That's the danger of being class clown. Um, yeah, that's the danger. Queen. Queen is awesome. I really like Queen. <clears throat> Dr. al Rasha immediately recognized her impressive intellect. Alright, lightning spells. So she's wise and... I'm, I'm gonna skim some of these just because, like, some of them are pretty similar. Um, wise integrity. Um, as straightforward as the long sword she wields. That's kind of a good way of trying to remember who she is. Intolerant of all forms of injustice, and her rigid sense of morality has earned her the nickname of class leader. She is not class leader, she will have you know. Okay. She bears no ill will. Change view. Whoa, gosh. Oh, hello. So you really want to get up close and personal. She's got purple eyes. I didn't notice that. Okay. And then we got King. Dual handguns. 
Let's need someone else have handguns. What did Cater have? Magicite pistol. King has dual handguns. A quiet child he kept to himself. Okay. Man of few words. So king is, so queen and king are kind of very um rigid almost. They're not they're not yeah. Queen is very moral. King is cold and aloof or reticent. He's kind, but he's kind of very okay. He marries life and death, he maintains his composure, rational decisions. Okay. So that said, let's try some of this out. Let's try those those characters out. I'm heading back to the arena. <clears throat> Let's try to get a good sense of what they're about. And it just even, even if I only use a small number of characters, this is kind of one of the fun parts of a game like Type Zero for me, is like getting to explore these different different fighting styles. So let's make nine active. Um, promotion abilities, yeah. All right, all right, so let's try you out. White Knight, what's White Knight? Regenerate a safety zone that restores HP and prevents damage. That's way more interesting than block. What do you mean? I can't put it in defense? I guess not. Okay, never mind. Um, increase the pay. Yeah, let's just make jump. Super good. Triple slip. And slipstream. And untouchable? What's this? Window for dodging increases? Yeah, sure. Um. Okay, let's try out nine. Here we go. It's a very fast spear. I never use block. Let me try what block does. So block is like, it doesn't prevent that. It doesn't eliminate damage. It just makes it... I assume it doesn't work from the back. Yeah, it doesn't. Oh, and uh, the ability gauge goes down, right? The block seems like it kind of sucks. I really don't like the block. Yeah, jump is really good. Okay. But it does use up a fair chunk of that ability gauge, so I have to mix it in with... <clears throat> yeah, it's a huge radius, too. So I probably want to... If I use jump, I want to dodge out of the way first, because it does make me vulnerable for that. So the, the regular attack is pretty weak. Yeah, I really like this character. This might be a man. And I have to be I have to be wary of jumping past an enemy. Whoa, was that a fourth hit that does really strong? Two. Oh man. I want to try one more time, just because I want to see if that if it's like a uh, combo. Um Okay. Okay, we got you. 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's a big combo. So you really get, you do actually get benefit from chain attacks. This may be one of my favorites. <clears throat> and look, the martial arts guy was fun too, but this is more straightforward. Boom. Oh, yeah. Um, okay. You can kill me. I'm ready to... How do I... Can I just end this abort mission? Okay. Oh. Yeah, just kill me. Okay. So that's... Nine. Let's try... Jackass. Um, reflex. Okay. What new ability? Oh, triple slip. Okay, yeah. Triple slip is always pretty good. And I think I remember Bennett. You said that like triple slip is one of his best ways to move. Lightning Flash. Slash in rapid succession. Let's just try Reflex for now. Read enemies, attacks to deliver a Midnight Rage Counter Slash. Um, okay, here we go. So he has no weapon out yet. When he pulls out the weapon... So Reflex isn't an automatic counter. Whoa! Did you see the quantity of damage that did? Holy shit! So it doesn't it only works sometimes. I'm not sure what though. <clears throat> Do I have to wait until an enemy attacks me? And then it just does titanic damage? I want to try that again. <clears throat> okay. It's a very slow hit. So just hitting Reflex on its own doesn't do much. Maybe it arms it? Hmm. <laughs> Maybe you have to wait until the blade is descending? Is, I'm not quite sure what to do. Let's go heal if we can. So I definitely have to double tap it. Question is, when's my window? Because if I just double tap it randomly, it doesn't do anything. But sometimes it does incredible damage. Like he says gotcha, but he didn't get anyone. Practice pays off. Hmm. How do I stow my katana? Yeah, there's something I'm missing about this. I'm going to try it again. Maybe I have to reflex and then... Now, no? 
Maybe. That was 1781. Holy shit. No, that didn't work. Why doesn't it work there? It seems like it's a parry. Yeah, so I have to time it to when the enemy's attacking me? Or like shortly, there's like a window there. When the enemy, when I see the enemy's like weapon winding up, it's almost like my character's parrying them. Like the arrow's too soon, I think. There, perfect. Nope, too. Okay, uh, can I heal up? Yeah, get it. Okay, and barely. Okay. No, I was too slow. I was too fast there. Yeah, there we go. This is interesting now. This is very much like kind of lightning returns. Nope, missed it there. There we go. So you have to be really on your toes with this particular attack. Um, that was too early. Hmm. Too early, I guess, then? Unless I'm misunderstanding this, so let me know if I am. I've never been great at these, but since I played Sekiro, I've gotten better. Okay, last one, I promise. I promise this is going to be the last time I try it. But I want to try it once more, kind of knowing this, having this theory of the case. And let's see if I can consistently land it. Okay. Yeah! There we go. Nope, too early. There we go. And it doesn't even have, have to be at me, I just have to time it. Oh. Like, let's say I want to get you. I can dodge you. I don't have to be standing in front of you. No, I... There! There! Oh, no. Hmm. So it's sometimes working. Get to a heal! Okay. So it's like when they're exposed, maybe? Because it's too early is never works. Too late sometimes works. Or do I have to hold it, maybe? I don't know. I'm definitely getting better at it, but I still don't know the exact tell. Okay, so if you have any advice on that, that would be appreciated. So let's leave off of Jack for now, but that's a, that's an interesting one. I like it. I'm going to come back to that. I, I don't know. I want to come back to all these. Queen. So Queen we've messed around with a bit already. Let's see if we can do better with her. <clears throat> Balestra Lunge. Rush towards enemy. Let's stick with Divine Judgment for now. Let's get used to some things. Okay. Divine Judgment AG. So just soup up Divine Judgment. Cross-shaped light that heals allies by draining enemies' HP. Okay. Let's give it a shot. She's a very straightforward character, at least in terms of personality. Hmm. Oh wait, you can you can manipulate where the cross is gonna hit. 
this is really tough, right? Because I have to get three without being shot at. And I don't know how to do that. Yeah, you can rotate it. But it doesn't seem to be working. I don't know what's going on. Why isn't it going off? So I'm out of, okay, so I'm out of, I think that, that was Divine Judgment is using up Ability Gauge. But it wasn't seeming to hit. So just the Longsword itself is pretty good. Almost uses like a Rapier, which is interesting. Oh, that's what it does! It's... It's like a, it's not a charged ability that comes as the blast at the end, it's a channeled ability that drains it. Okay, that's really cool. I'm gl See, oh. I am so glad I'm taking the time for this. Like, let me get to, all right, all right, that's fine. Give me some more players to hit. Here. All right, here. Yes! She may be my favorite. She I keep saying that about characters, but she may be my favorite. She may be my actual literal favorite. Plus she's got that sustainability. Oh, and she's got a quick attack. Oh, queen. You are my new queen. You are absolutely my queen. And this is a because it, it's a channeled ability. Yeah. Oh my god, this is amazing. I think I found my new main. Yep, definitely found my new main. <laughs> I'm just giggling. This is giddy. This is... Okay. And it just, every time it swipes them, it hits them. And it drains. So she has that, again, she has that sustainability. She's not a glass cannon. Okay. Um, let's see how far we can go. Oh no, I'm taking damage. What's going to stop the... What's going to help? Um, let's drain your hit points. Oh my god. And her movements are awesome. Oh, look at this, she's so fast. She, this is this is like a whole new world that's opening up to me. Okay, so I do have to take... I can get knocked out of it pretty easily. But if I can get a few ticks off as it swats, swats around... Oh boy, howdy. Okay, how do I leave? I think I just have to die, right? Okay. That's fine. Kill me. Or don't kill me, because I can... No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to regenerate my health. Keep going. Almost. There we go. Okay. One more to try out here. Let's try out... King. Oh, King. Okay, at the top. So King of the Twin Revolvers. Reload, point-blank shot. Let's see, let's see. Oh, what? Hmm. Endless Waltz sounds fun. Uh, yeah, let's do this over point-blank shot. Okay, so we've got Endless Waltz now. And let's do the triple slip stuff. Increase movement speed, let's do this stuff to supplement it. Because I want to, now that I have a melee character, I want to find a ranged character. 
Because I love Queen. I friggin' love Queen. Um, yeah, let's try this on its own. On its own. Oh, whoops! I have to switch to switch to him. All right. He's got quite a haircut. He's got like a—he's literally got a mullet, doesn't he? All right. Let's try endless waltz. Okay. And there's like an ammo system. It seems like. 12 shots? I feel like I have the Hades Railgun. It's, it's high noon. You can have it. Okay, so now that I'm out of bullets... Oh, I have to... That's how I reload. It's over. Okay, see, so he's alright. He's not... I mean, he's, I'm sure he's better than I'm giving him credit for, but he doesn't give me the same happies that Queen gives me. So I think, here's here's my... Okay, you can you can kill me now. Um, here's my, the party I'm going with as my... At least here's two of them. I think I want Deuce because... I want to, you know, let me try Deuce out once more, because I haven't really tried Deuce. I kept her in the background. I haven't actually tried playing her really. So let's try because here's my thinking right now. Queen will be my main. Trey will be my ranged. And I will still want to find someone else. Um do some ten I'm leaning towards being my supplementary character. Let's see what you got, Deuce. Acoustic amplifier can cheer. This is going to be weird in this particular setting, but let's try triple slip and slipstream. Okay, so what does this do? Increases the power of normal attacks, or can cheer is the one we have here. Um, enhance allies' abilities and force them to fight. I'm definitely going to have to play around with her. I'm definitely going to have to play around with her. This is not going to be that helpful in terms of seeing how it works, but let's try it anyway. Oh, so the flute actually can do damage. That's kind of hilarious. This is strange. Um, hmm. Wait, is are they taking damage just from being around me? This is just like real life. Just being around people hurts them. What what's doing damage to them? Is it this friggin' floating thing that's near me? It seems like it. Well, let's try Concerto. Let's see what Concerto's doing. Hmm. I think I, I think this is going to be my third character just because it seems like such a strong support. And I like the melee and ranged I have otherwise. Okay. Oh, <laughs> get fluted. Get absolutely fluted. Oh, welcome to band camp. Here we go. I'm gonna think of so many musical like one liner action hero one liners for Deuce. It's gonna be amazing. Time for the finale, motherfucker. <laughs> okay, I think I'm done with this. Um, and normally I would just say abort mission, but I think, yeah, I think. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. 
Okay. So, I actually think this is going to be it for me for now. Um, next time, we will actually make more progress. Actually make real progress. But this is a hugely successful session for me. I found... Let me just put her in front. Sun's active leader. Queen is the leader. Trey is the support. Or Trey is the... Um, and then Deuce and Trey are in, in the background. Um, Machina I haven't still, still haven't tried. Let me try Machina. I haven't really messed around with him. Cyclone Drive. Because maybe I'll like him more than... Uh, more than Trey. For range. Or no, he's a, he's a melee. Bolt rapiers. I was thinking of those as like bolt action rifles or something, but no, those are melee things. So cyclone drive, very powerful. Finishing blows. Okay, it's awakening. Restore all HP and turn all normal attacks into furious blades until the user takes oh until the user takes damage. All right, so let's see what this does. Continue damaging enemies until user runs out of. This is like a whirlwind thing. Okay, Machina. It's going to take a lot to dethrone the queen, but let's see what you got. Okay. Okay, it's pretty cool. Um... Okay, what else? Yeah, you're right, we want to spread out because of the bolt rapiers. Oh, wait, let me target something. Oh, sh! I thought he was going to do a whirlwind. It wasn't a whirlwind, it was something very different. Okay, that's pretty neat. That is very cool. I wonder if this is almost good for single target bosses. If it'll just kind of like stay in them and... I don't know. Maybe. Uh, the... Oh right, targeting is a little bit weird right now. So this doesn't do what I thought it was going to do. The Cyclone Drive. I mean, it's not bad or anything, it's just different. Yeah, why would you... Oh, it's like a drill! The sword is like... The swords are like drills. I see what's going on. That's why. That's why it's Cyclone Drive. That's pretty neat, and that seems like it'll be really good against single target, like, immobile bosses. Look at that. Look at this nonsense. Okay, you can kill me. Okay, almost got me. Almost, come on. I have faith in you guys. You can do it. There you go. Okay. So that's going to be it for me for now. Thank you for watching. Next time... Actually, I know what I'm going to do next time. I'm going to take this new party I have and head and this new knowledge of what different abilities do. And we're going to head to redo the last mission that I had. The one that was like invading the to Togareth Fortress, I think it was. Um, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you all later. Okay, bye-bye.